Now the vast majority of Rocat's hardware is customized using Rocat Swarm. Now this is a complicated interface and the easiest way to think about it is to see three sections. Section number one is the top here. It lists all of the hardware that you've connected and if it's connected, you can select it. And if it's not connected, you'll see this disconnected uh, plug. So you can't select those. So all of your hardware is up here. On the right, you'll notice this AMO button and this will activate AMO for all of the connected hardware on the top. So you just tap that to enable it. If you want to know what AMO does, we have a short explainer video on it. Uh, we'll leave a link in the notes. So that's your top section here. Once you click on your peripheral, you have your main section, which is section number two. You have your main settings. This is for the Vulkan TKL Pro. General features like sound, clicking and not clicking, your character repeat. You have key assignments for easy shift keys. You can set your keys to do different things. And for key illumination, you can set up your lighting. Uh, you have a whole bunch of different selections for that. Now, let's say you made all of your changes. You're happy with the key assignments and all the colors and the brightness and all of that. Uh, if you look down here, this is section three, the game profiles. All of these settings are made for this profile here. This is my first profile. I named it muted white uh, just to be conservative you know, with the white color. <laughs> now, what you want to do is click on this little triangle and export this profile so you can save it for later. Uh, whatever you name down here will show over here, muted white, and this is saved under the Vulkan TKL Pro, uh, which is this piece of hardware. Now for the Cone Pro, this will be in a different folder called Cone Pro, and it's under App Data, Roaming, Rocat, Swarm, Profile, and whatever the hardware is that you have currently. Uh, you can save that. I'm gonna cancel out since I already have it. And now if you decide to play around, let's say with breathing, you try this color, and then that color, and then do this, then you're like, oh no, uh, I want to change it back to what it was. Well, you can't unless you saved it by exporting it. Now you can import the profile by going to muted white and open it, and it'll revert back to what it was before. Phew. That's my first profile. You see, I have several other ones. This one's called Seafloor one called Wave, and all of these do different things. This one's called Resolve. These are important keys that I use in Resolve when I do video editing. One cool thing is you can link the profile to a program. So for example, when I launch DaVinci Resolve, this profile will start up automatically. So how you do that is you start up the program, you come to Swarm, you add application, and you select it once it's started. Or you can search manually, and you can look for the program yourself. Pain in the butt, but you can do it. And be sure to select Profile Auto Switch to automatically switch to this profile when you start up that program. This is super cool. You can also use the Profile Manager to manage the profile. This is Onboard Profiles. This Vulkan TKL has memory in there, so you can save these inside the memory and you have stored profiles that's saved inside the computer. Go OK. And you have a macro manager on this part here. You have preset macros for a whole bunch of games, including like CSGO, look at this. And they have stuff for Minecraft even. You can make your own too under my macros on top here. Click on that. I have just a couple, you know, you can add your own macro. Click on that. You can start recording. I'm gonna tap a few keys. I'm happy with that. Stop that. You can rename it. Let's name this test five. And now it's called test five. So you manage all of your macros in macro manager. So in conclusion, we have section one, which is all of your hardware, section two, which is all of your settings, and section three, which is all of your profiles and your macro managers. This is basically how you navigate inside the Rocat Swarm software.